So listen, I've had a lot of people um, that are following our MAPS program ask uh, why, we, why we put a box squat mm. in our preface. Right, you know, MAPS Red in particular, yes, MAPS yes. Anabolic. Maps, MAPS Red starts with that in your preface. Why did we put that in there and how do you do it properly? Well, here's the thing. Uh, <clears throat> squats, very effective, fantastic exercise. A lot of people have trouble sitting back in the squat, the, getting yes, the hips activated. The, this part, right? The, Hinging yes. back. You know, most people want to just this quad dominance yes. that that just takes over the squat and the movement. Right, it pulls you forward. Right, and a box squat. Okay, two things. First of all, a box squat, great move. Even if you're good at squatting, you add some box squats. Look, power lifters use them for a long time because it helps them squat more weight when they squat without the box. Right. Number two, if you're learning how to barbell squat, a box squat is good because it helps you sit back. Uh, let's have Adam. Demo. Yeah, so first, first and foremost, you're at your gym, you're probably not gonna have access to a box. Just use a bench. All you do is you put it behind your body. Now here's what Adam's gonna do. He's gonna He's gonna wanna sit, get real close he's to gonna the bench. He's gonna sit back and sit down. He's actually gonna sit down and stay tight and then come up. There you go. So you actually wanna sit on the box. You're not just tapping it. You're sitting back, sitting down, and then coming up. Now here's an important point. At the bottom of the rep, when you're sitting on the bench, that does not mean you relax. No, yeah, right. you want to stay tense, right? especially right here. So this yeah. isn't, yeah, it doesn't turn into a recliner. We're actually, at the bottom of your lift, you're squeezing even more to make sure that we're getting the response we want. That's right, so you stay tight, sit on the bench for two, three seconds, stand back up. Do not bounce on the bench, don't drop on the bench, don't relax right. on the bench, because you're asking for trouble. But if you're learning how to squat and you're having trouble sitting back or your knees are coming too far forward, a box, great way to fix it. Yeah. Most of the clients that I train, this is how I progress them to a barbell squat, is I Absolutely. have them do a box squat. Well, it helps now, you to get used to this depth. A lot of people don't normally achieve this type of depth in their squat, and so we want to get you nice and comfortable uh, teaching the body how to drive up out of this position. You even. know, it's, that's a good point, Justin, because the safety of the bench behind you a lot of times helps people sit down more, get down a little yeah, further. With that, right. They don't have that fear of falling back because right. they know they have a bench That's to catch it, right. them. And you go light with it, get started, practice it's it. It's about but, mechanics, it's not about yeah. strength. But I'll one. tell you what, if you want to use this as a strength movement, if you're experienced, uh, you can use a lot of weight. I've squatted almost 400 pounds right. with the box uh, before I squatted almost 400 pounds with the, just a regular barbell Now squat. would you say too, as he's squatting down, he would want to have lighter and lighter pressure touching the bench each uh, time. That's yes. another variation. I mean, if right. you want to keep tension and kind of hover above it, you can do that. But for those of you trying to learn to sit back, right. go ahead and sit First down. First learn by going all the way and, and getting full contact. Uh, I suggest feeling how to tense your way through that at the bottom and then alleviating a bit of that pressure on the bench as you get more advanced. I've seen knuckleheads do this too, which I make sure you don't do this. I've seen people sit on the don't bench be a and then lift their legs uh, <laughs> and then go to go to stand up. You don't want to do that. That puts all this pressure. Meatheads, uh, you, gym rats, what else? Are you, no, no, no. You literally you stay grounded. Yes, you want to yeah. stay tense. You want to stay tight. It's there just to assist you to, to make your client feel more comfortable with coming back into that hinging position. So you still wanna maintain that connection to the ground, just like Justin was saying, I wanna really take my time. I'm barely- Stay tight, yes. stay tight. Everything is tense still, everything is tight. Core is tight. I don't wanna whew, no. slouch or relax or re bring my feet off and then yeah. come up. You also wanna, you don't wanna do this either. You don't wanna sit down, I've seen people do this. They'll sit down with the bar and they'll rock back and then rock forward exactly. and stand up. No, no, you're coming down. You want to tight. emulate what you're doing in the back. squat. Exactly. We're, we're not trying to sit back and upright and, and get comfortable in that position. We're trying to squat it down to depth, squeeze and get in that depth and drive up out of it because that's what we're doing. Uh, Justin has a beautiful squat, by the way. Yeah. Yes. Very get that on camera? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a thing of beauty.